Department of Education, Region 4, Calabarzon, Nagkarilan SAP Office, Alangan Integrated National High School Presents, Project 5 Days, 5 Developmental Assistance, Yielding Student Success. When the pandemic began subsiding this middle of the year 2022, the promulgation of Dep and Order No. 34 Series of 2022 issuing 5 Days Classes, for public school and a voluntary compliance for private schools. The shift from the concerns during the pandemic to face-to-face classes began the focus on nurturing learners. This called for the revision of the former project facts, validating academic compliance of students through interventions 2020 to 2022, which dealt with the learner compliance submission of modular outcomes. This time of five day classes also recounts a problem during the pre pandemic. The tardiness of learners, which was solved through Project Star, solving tardiness through academic resiliency 2016 to 2019, com combining the concept of the two preceding projects. This present project being proposed deals with tardiness in coming to school, absenteeism, and having no academic performance. This project 5 days, 5 developmental assistance, yielding students access of 5 proposed intervention which are fitted for the present implementation of 5 days school attendance. The 5 proposed interventions 1. Punctuality monitoring Advisors would be using are issuing sleep to students every time they will commit hardiness. The sleep will be brought home for parents' signatures. While learners commit to tardiness in a week, he or she will enter into counseling. First, two tardiness in a week would mean advisor counseling. Second, two tardiness in a week would mean counseling with advisor and parent. For the third time, the two tardiness will be committed in a week. There would be counseling of students with a parent and guidance counselor. Next is rigid checking of attendance. There would be a matrix that class secretary would be holding in which for every subject, there is a checking of attendance by the class secretary. An initial of the subject teacher would be secured at the bottom of the attendance matrix. Those who are seen to be committing cat in class would enter into three-level counseling like the one for Pankwell Monitor. Third, Enhancement Activity. Grade 11 teachers would be providing enhancement activity to learners with line of 7 in report card. Every Monday, it will be given through the advisor, and every Friday, the advisor will get the output and hand it to the subject teacher concerned. Fourth, Guardian Connection. There will be a group chat for parents of every section of grade 11. 5. Maxim Board In a prominent area in classroom, a Maxim Board, just like a bulletin board, will be positioned so that it can hold encouraging or motivating quotations. These Maxims will be replaced every week so that learners will always have something to look for a source of encouragement. Workforce Project Owner Ma Mercedita P. Pabico With the able leadership of our principal, Ma Pabico, this project would have a direction and would definitely attain its objectives. Guidance along the way of the implementation would secure that everything is in its proper place and learners would improve in compliance. The Team Leader Sir Elimar A. Pasco his task is to lead the group throughout the steps that need to be undertaken until its completion. He will communicate to every part of the team so as to have close coordination and every task would be done in due time, having no learners lagging behind who would be unassisted. For scribe, Mom Daisy is there. Her task is to prepare minutes of meetings so as to keep the team updated with proceedings. Communicator, Sir Bernard V. Arcon. 
His task is to provide promotion, strategy, and efforts in order for the internal and external ex stakeholders to be actively involved in the project. Internal Process Observer Ma'am Cleopatra M. Tobias During the implementation stage, she will provide the team comments and suggestions, securing quality control through an observation tool that will be prepared. External Process Observer Sir Marco O. Monfet. Through a pen and paper tool, he will provide feedback on the implementation of the cycle of intervention which will be formulated by the group. His task, if separated from the internal trust server, in that he will make an evaluation that based from the perspective of the group and their client. But as an external observer is scrutinizing the process being done by the grade 11 advisors. Lastly, documenters. Mam La Arnie A. E. Hernandez and Mam Glyzley and B. Monteta. Different from the task of the scribe, they will take note of all the proceedings during the implementation stage, the number of the students lagging behind every month, the progress, achievements of targets, and interpretation of collected data. The workforce is mainly composed of grade 11 advisors. Because this project is based on the needs of the grade level learners. This is with the exception of Sir Marco Omonfero, a grade level advisor who will act as external process observer. Now is the Gantt chart of the project. This shows the activity and dates of the project. For the activities of the project, it includes Get Organized. Talk with the customer. Walk the process. Identify improvement areas. Do root cause analysis. Develop solution. Finalize improvement plans. Pilot solution. Promotion week. Roll out solution. Check progress. And continuous implementation. First semester documentation. Status of the tardiness of learners. Punctuality monitoring, first quarter and second quarter. For punctuality monitoring, the advisors issued sleep to students every time they will commit tardiness. The sleep were brought home for parent signature. When learners commit to tardiness in a week, he or she enters into counseling. Two, tardiness means advisor counseling. Third, Tardiness means counseling with advisor and parent. For the fourth, tardiness counseling of student with a parent and guidance counselor was conducted. Figure 3 shows the punctuality monitoring. For quarter 1 and quarter 2, the orange graph represents the quarter 1 and the blue graph represents quarter 2. For quarter 1 punctuality monitoring, there were 72 students who committed tardiness and 36 learners in quarter 2. It shows that success is attained because the frequency of learners committing tardiness is decreased by 50%. 2.2 Status of the absenteeism of learners There would be a matrix that the class secretary would be holding in which for every subject. There is a checking of attendance by the class secretary. An initial of the subject teacher will be secured at the bottom of the attendance matrix. Those who are seen to be committing catechism class would enter into three-level counseling like the one for punctuality monitoring. This figure shows the status of absenteeism for quarter one and quarter two. The orange graph represents the quarter one and the blue graph represents quarter two. For quarter 1, we did checking of attendance, there were 87 students who committed absenteeism and 32 learners on quarter 2. It shows that success is attained because frequency of absenteeism is reduced by 63.22%. Two point three status of learners with line of seven and report card during first quarter and second quarter. 
Grade 11 teachers would be providing enhancement activity to learners with line of 7 report card. Every Monday, it would be given through the advisor and every Friday, the advisor will get the output and hand it to the subject teacher concern. Figure 3 shows that the number of learners with line of 7 in report card in quarter 1 were 190 and in quarter 2, there were 92 learners. The figure shows that success is attained in third intervention because there are 27 learners who previously had line of 7 in report card do not anymore experience the case. This is equivalent to 22.69% decrease in number of cases with line of 7 in report card. 2.4 Feedback of Stakeholders During Pilot First intervention, punctuality monitoring advisors would be using sleep or issuing sleep to students every time they will commit tardiness. The sleep will be brought home for parents' signature. Figure 6 shows that 59.2% of the stakeholders very highly agree in punctuality monitoring in the class. There are also 20.4% of the stakeholders highly agree and 18.4% of the stakeholders agree. The figure shows that stakeholder has given their approval on the first intervention. Second intervention, rigid checking of attendance. There would be a matrix that the class secretary would be holding in which for every subject there is a checking of attendance by the class secretary and initial of the subject teacher would be secured at the bottom of the attendance matrix. This figure shows that 59.2% of the stakeholders very highly agree on rigid checking of attendance in the class. There are also 26.5% of the stakeholders highly agree and 14.3% of the stakeholders says that they agree. The figure shows that stakeholders have given their approval on the second intervention. Third intervention, enhancement activity. Grade 11 teachers would be providing enhancement activity to the learners with line of 7 in their report card. Every Monday, it would be given through the advisor. And every Friday, the advisor will get the output and hand it to the subject teacher concern. Figure 8 shows that 57.1% of the stakeholders very highly agree on the enhancement activity given by the teacher. There are also 22.4% of the stakeholders highly agree and 20.4% of the stakeholders agree. The figure shows that stakeholders has also given their approval on the third intervention. Fourth intervention, guardian connection. There will be a group chat for parents of every section of grade 11. Figure 9 shows that 42.9% of the stakeholders very highly agree in the group chat for every section of grade 11. There are also 30.6% of the stakeholders highly agree and 26.5% of the stakeholders agree. The figure shows that stakeholders have given their approval on the fourth intervention. Fifth intervention, Maxim Board. In a prominent area in a classroom, a Maxim Board, just like a bulletin board, will be positioned so that it can hold encouraging or motivating codes. This maxim will be replaced every week so that learners will always have something to look for a source of courage. Figure 10 shows that 46.9% of the stakeholders very highly agree on maxim board. There are also 28.6% of the stakeholders highly agree and 24.5% of the stakeholders agree. The figure shows that the stakeholders has given their approval on the fifth intervention. 2.5 Feedback of Stakeholders During Role First intervention, advisors would be issuing sleep to the parents every time they will commit parties. Figure 11 shows 
effectiveness during rollout, there are 54.1% of stakeholders very highly agree on punctuality monitoring. There are also 14.7% of the stakeholders highly agree and 27.1% of the stakeholders agree. The figure shows that stakeholders has given their approval on the first intervention. Second intervention, rigid checking of attendance. Figure 12 shows effectiveness during rollout. There are 52.9% of the stakeholders very highly agree on rigid checking of attendance. There are also 17.5% of the stakeholders highly agree and 25.9% of the stakeholders agree. The figure shows that stakeholders has given their approval on the second intervention. Third intervention, enhancement activity. Figure 13 shows effectiveness during rollout. There are 57.1% of stakeholders very highly agree on enhancement activity. There are also 15.13% of the stakeholders highly agree and 24.7% of the stakeholders agree. The figure shows that stakeholders has given their approval for the third intervention. Fourth intervention, Guardian Connection. With figure 14, shows effectiveness during rollout. There are 50% of the stakeholders very highly agree on Guardian Connection. There are also 20% of stakeholders highly agree and 25.9% of stakeholders agree. The, this figure shows that stakeholders has given their approval on the fourth intervention. Fifth intervention, maxing board. Figure 15 shows effectiveness during rollout. There are 49.4% of the stakeholders very highly agree on maxing board. There are also 17.5% of the stakeholders highly agree and 28.8% of the stakeholders agree. The figure shows that stakeholders has given their approval on the fourth intervention. 2.6 Feedback of the External Observer Using the Process Observation Tool, here are the feedback from the External Observer. 1. First Intervention, Punctuality Monitoring Table 1 shows that punctuality monitoring helps the learners discipline themselves to be punctual and avoid Hardiness. Second intervention, rigid checking of attendance. Table 2 shows that learners were able to avoid cutting classes and absenteeism because of the strict attendance monitor. Third intervention, enhancement activity. Table 3 shows that the enhancement activities help the learners with line of 7 improve their grades. Fourth intervention, guardian connection. Table 4 shows that the teacher guardian connection is very important to monitor the learner's academic performance in school. It embodies the saying, two heads are better than one. The teacher and the parent should work as one to guide the learners positively. Fifth intervention, maxim board. Table 5 shows that the inspirational quotes and maxim boards have an impact on learners' mindsets or ways of thinking. Somehow, it motivates them to do better and realize why it's hearted. The maxim boards encourage the learners to be punctual, refrain from the absence, and most importantly, prioritize their studies. 2.7 Project 5 Day Second Meeting Evaluation of Grade 11 Student January 9, 2023, 9:30 a.m. to 10:30 a.m. on January 7. Monday, the Senior High School Academic Group conducted its first meeting to discuss the pilot evaluation of the aforementioned project. All of the Grade 11 advisors were present, as well as Mr. Marco Almonfero, the project's external process observer. The findings of the project five days. Pilot evaluation as reported by Ms. Cleopatra and Tobias. She went over every observation and assessment of the parents, 170 responses, 
from the aforementioned part gives you two responses from caregiving, 20 responses from ABN, 55 responses from automotive A and B, 37 from ICT, and 6 responses from gas students. On the second part of the meeting, Mr. Marco Manfero presented his evaluation and assessment of all interventions provided to the students who support cars contain a line of seven. Everyone was informed of his findings and how he assessed each evaluation tool he utilized. 2.8 Project 5 Days Punctuality Excellence Awarded Second Quarter ABM 21 students, GAS 11 16 students, Caregiving 30 students, ICT 20 students, Automotive A 7 students, and Automotive B 10 students. 2.9 Project 5 Days Complete Attendance Awardee Second Quarter ABM 29 students, GAS 15 students, Caregiving 30 students, ICT 18 students, Automotive A 12 students, and Automotive B 15 students. This image shows the distribution of Project 5 Days certificates during second quarter. Second semester documentation Figure 16, Punctuality Monitoring During Third and Fourth Quarter The yellow graph represents the third quarter and the green graph represents quarter four. For quarter three, Punctuality Monitoring, there were 60 students who committed tardiness and 55 learners on a quarter four. It shows that success is attained because the frequency of learners committing tardiness is decreased by 8.33%. 3.2 Status of Absenteeism of Learners Figure 17 Rigid Monitoring of Attendance During 3rd and 4th Quarter This figure shows the status of absenteeism for 2nd quarter. The yellow graph represents the quarter 3 and the purple graph represents quarter 4. For quarter 3, rigid checking of attendance, there were 67 students who committed absenteeism and 51 learners on quarter 4. It shows that success is attained because frequency of absenteeism is reduced by about 23.88%. 3.3 Status of Learners with Line of 7 in a Report Card third quarter and fourth quarter. This figure shows that the number of learners with line of seven in report card in second semester, quarter three were 98 and in quarter four there were 72 learners. The figure shows that success is attained in the third intervention because there are 26 learners who previously had line of seven in report card do not anymore experience the case. This is equivalent to 26.53% decrease in number of cases with line of 7 in the report card. Feedback of stakeholders quarter 3 and 4, first intervention, punctuality monitor. Figure 19 shows that in quarter 3, 58.5% and in quarter 4, 52% of the stakeholders were very highly agree in punctuality monitoring in the class. There are also in quarter 3, 13.8% in quarter 4, 14.8% of the stakeholders highly agree and in quarter 3, 22.8% and in quarter 4, 28.8% of the stakeholders agree. The figure shows that the stakeholders have given their support on the first intervention. Second intervention, rigid checking of attendance. This figure shows that in quarter 3, 54.9% and in quarter 4, 54% of the stakeholders very highly agree on rigid checking of attendance in the class. There are also in quarter 3, 17% and in quarter 4, 15.2% of the stakeholders highly agree and 25% in quarter 3. 27.2% of the stakeholders in quarter 4 says that they agree. The 
the figure shows that stakeholder has given their complete support to the second intervention. Third intervention, enhancement activity. This figure shows that in quarter 3, with 56.7% and 56.4% in quarter 4, the stakeholders very highly agree on the enhancement activity given by the teacher. There are also 19.2% in quarter 3 and 12% in quarter 4 of the stakeholders highly agree and 18.8 in quarter 3 and 26% in quarter 4 of the stakeholders agree. The figure shows that stakeholders has also given their continuous support on the third intervention. Fourth intervention, guardian image. Figure 21 shows that in quarter 3 with 48.7% and in quarter 4 with 47.2% of the stakeholders very highly agree in the group chat for every section of grade 11. There are also in quarter 3, 20.5% in quarter 4, 4. 18% of the stakeholder highly agree in quarter 3, 25% and 32% in quarter 4 of the stakeholders agree. The figure shows that stakeholders, especially parents, is given their continuous and full support on the fourth intervention. Fifth intervention, maximum board. Figure 22 shows that in quarter 3, 55.4%. In quarter 4, 49.2% of the stakeholders very highly agree on maxing board. There are also in quarter 3, 14.7%. In quarter 4, 15.2% of the stakeholders highly agree. In quarter 3, with 25%. And in quarter 4, with 32.4% of the stakeholders agree. The figure shows that stakeholder has given their continuous support on the fifth intervention. 3.5 Feedback of the External Observer Quarter 3 and Quarter 4 Using the process observation tool, here are the feedback from the external observer. First intervention, punctuality monitoring. Due to the low level of tardiness among grade level students, Punctuality monitoring is still effective. Table 6 shows that punctuality monitoring is effective and helps the learners discipline themselves to be punctual and avoid targets. Second intervention, rigid checking of attendance. Rigid checking of attendance. Some learners always come late after recess or break. This table shows that the learners were able to avoid cutting classes and absenteeism because of the strict attendance monitoring, but there are some learners who always come late after recess or break time. Third intervention, enhancement activity. Only a few learners are still complying with the enhancement activities given by their teachers. This table shows that the enhancement activities help the learners with line of 7 improve their grades, but there are only few learners are complying with the enhancement activities given by the subject teachers, and the teachers still accept the late outputs of the students. Fourth Intervention, Guardian Connection Guardian Connection, having a group chat with parents and guardian is still a useful way to monitor the learner's performance at school. This table shows that the teacher guardian connection is very important to monitor the learner's academic performance in schools. It embodies the saying, two hands are better than one. Fifth intervention, maxing board. This table shows that inspirational quotes and maxing boards have an impact on learners' mindsets or ways of thinking. Somehow, it motivates them to do better and realize why they started. 3.6 Project 5 Days Quarter 3 Meeting, April 24, 2023, Monday. At this day, the Senior High School Academic Group conducted its meeting to discuss the evaluation and results of the aforementioned project for the third quarter. Five out of six grade advisors were present, as well as Mr. Marco Omontero, the project's external process observer. The meeting started with an opening prayer led by Mr. Elmar Equasquad. 
the findings of the Project 5 days of the Grade 11 students' evaluation as reported by Ms. Cleopatra and Davila. She went over very observation and assessment of the parents with 224 responses for the aforementioned part, 53 responses from caregiving, 39 responses from EDM, 40 responses from Automotive A, 24 responses from Automotive B. During the second portion of the meeting, Mr. Mark Onman Pera presented his evaluation and assessment of all interventions provided to the students whose report cards contained a line of seven. Everybody was informed of his findings and how we assess each evaluation tool he utilized. These images shows the Project 5 Days Quarter for meeting on May 29, 2023, Monday. At this day, the Senior High School Academic Group conducted its meeting to discuss the evaluation and results of a aforementioned project. The findings of the Project 5 Days, Grade 11 Students' Evaluation as reported by Marco Onman Pero, our external process observer. As he observed, the first intervention is punctuality monitoring, and his overall observation for this is that punctuality monitoring helps the learner discipline themselves to be punctual and avoid tardiness. Sir Elimar gave a closing remark for the meeting by giving the advice to saying for the famous writer Helen Keller saying education should train the child to use his brains to make for himself a place in the world and maintain his rights even when it seems that society would show him into scrap sheep. With this slide, it shows the attendance sheets of the students and the advisors as well as the subject teachers used during this project. This slide shows the Project 5 Days Attendance Sheets and Punctuality Monitoring Sheet. With that, there are Punctuality Excellence Awardees in second semester, ADM 18 students, GAS 18 students, Caregiving 14 students, ICT 20 students, Automotive A 23 students, and Automotive B none. With that also shows a complete attendance awardees for ABM 28 students, GAS 11, 9 students, Caregiving 30 students, ICT 18 students, Automotive A 12 students, and Automotive B 9. For the reflections of the teachers about the project. According to Sir Elimar A. Pasquale, this first school year of post-pandemic journey with the implementation of five-day face-to-face classes, I was challenged to lose the morale and spirit of learners to get into school with punctuality, with consistency, and with academic quality. Project Five Days helped me a lot in these three aspects. I noticed in myself that I became persistent, consistent, and organized because of the routine associated with Project 5 Days. I thank all the workforce of this project because they are indeed passionate about helping learners to succeed in their learning and in having quality education. If given a chance, I would like to be part of this endeavor this coming new school year because I truly believe this project has a fruitful outcome. God bless everyone. God bless Project Pythons. Another reflection according to Cleopatra and Contents. Project 5 Days serve as grade 11 advisors as well as our learners to adjust in the full implementation of face-to-face -face class. The project keeps us on track when it comes to strict monitoring of attendance, continuous communication with parents and guardians and giving enhancement activities for those needed learners. It also becomes a tool for the parents and guardians to be involved in the education of learners because we believe that education is a partnership of the school and the community. As a grade 11 caregiving advisor, I am grateful to be part of the Project 5 Days. Congratulations to the team.
According to Desiree C. Vera, Project Five Days is indeed a fulfilling experience for us teachers because it gives chances to those students especially when it comes to their punctuality and absences. This was a long-term design project and everything was fresh to me. Patience was the crucial and essential factor that was needed in such a long project in my view. Fortunately, I learned and gained the patience, especially in assisting my students at grade 11 ICT. Besides, communication was another extremely significant factor. It was essential to communicate and discuss with the students and their guardians, parents as well. Overall, Project Friday is such an amazing experience for me. Congratulations to all behind this project. God bless us all. Here is a reflection from Laurie A. Hernandez, along with imparting knowledge in the classroom. A teacher can also assist students develop strong character traits that will help them succeed in life. We'll learn the value of punctuality from Project 5 Days by demonstrating to the parents that we genuinely care about their children. It also enables us to build good relationships with them. Though it is difficult at first, Project 5 Days is nevertheless interesting and enjoyable. Congratulations to all of us for this fruitful school year. The Project 5 Days helps the learners, teachers, and the school as well. For the learners, it helps them to adjust from the pandemic into full 5 Days implementation of face-to-face -face classes. It is a way for the learners to have discipline and to have a sense of responsibility. For the teachers, Project 5 Days has become an easy way to track the learners' tardiness, presentism, and to have an open communication with parents about the way and the learners' status in school. It also helps to have more patience and to understand in some circumstances where the students are not able to go to school. For the schools, Project 5 Days is a way where the number of absenteeism plates and also I think the number of dropout students can lessen if Project 5 Days will be implemented in the whole school. That's a reflection from Mom Flies Wing Big Now a reflection from Bernard B. Articona. The objectives of 5 Days is highly relevant and useful to the students as well as the teachers. As the teacher and implementer of this project, I found out that it cures the students' absences and gives remedy to their academic lapses and poor performance. I am hoping that this kind of project may have a great impact to the learners not just during to the class but also to their real-life situation. Thank you. A reflection from Marco Omonfe. Being an external process observer for this project helped me to discover some things about the teachers, learners, and the teaching learning process as well. I have seen how the advisors acted as the second parents of the learners. I have witnessed how the learners accepted the disciplinary actions taken by the advisors which made them realize their wrongdoings in school. This project helped both advisors and learners to be more responsible and allowed them to exert extra effort in everything they do, especially in school-related work. Once again, the Project 5 Days team. Congratulations and thank you.